how's it going? Uh, I thought I'd do a uh, more behind the scenes video this time. Um, going to this auction, um, generally I tend to stay away from these type of sales. Uh, I like to find the auctions that are, I don't think are going to be heavily attended, but I did a, uh, a search on auction zip and there just wasn't any uh, auctions in the, in the like 50 mile radius that looked decent. And uh, I think this one's going to be heavily attended, but uh, just never know what you'll find. Uh, I do like this one because it's not going to be an online auction also. So from reading the description, uh, there's going to be tons and tons of uh, lunch boxes and toys and also some coins. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I don't have a lot of expectations to finding any great hidden gems, uh, steals, but I just never know. So I'll show you guys some uh, footage of uh, the auction uh, before it starts. I'm here about a half an hour early. So I'm going to park, get my bidder's number, and uh, see how it goes. Thank you. 
How's it going? Um, hope you guys liked that uh, auction footage. If you guys enjoyed that, uh, let me know and I'll try and do more. Uh, a little bit about this auction. It was a uh, one person's estate. Again, I don't like to really go to these type of auctions because uh, they actually removed the contents from the person's house probably a month ago and brought it to another location. Well, that gives the auctioneer and his employees time to sort everything, go through it, and they look stuff up and uh, know what things are worth. Uh, I like to go to the estate auctions where basically they empty the house out maybe a week beforehand, uh, take stuff out, put them in box lots, and uh, you can find some really good treasures that way. But as you guys saw in the footage, uh, I came across this box and I showed the watch that was in it and I uh, put it back where it was found. Um, there was one other uh, guy that buys watches and jewelry there. He must not have seen this. Um, but as that auction went along, uh, you saw all the lunch boxes, uh, the toys. Uh, there was not a lot of people there, but there was a lot of uh, collectors and a few some resellers there and the prices were going uh, where you couldn't make any money if you're a reseller uh, the I was probably interested in all, also some of the uh, gold and silver um, mostly silver coins and there were some sterling plates and uh, they were selling for between 25 and 50 percent over spot so there was no money to be made uh, in reselling that or even an investment you could get stuff cheaper at your local uh, coin store so uh, the McDonald's toys sold for extremely cheap uh, one table in that one room there must have been a thousand McDonald's toys sold for one dollar for an entire table full of them so there's just no money to be made in uh, McDonald's I did did a, a search for McDonald's toys and uh, the stuff they had that just wasn't worth anything uh, the lunch boxes, some sold up to, I think the most expensive one sold for $800. And uh, most of them were selling for, at least the metal ones, at least $25 a piece. And a lot of them were selling double what they would sell for on eBay. So, uh, but what I found, I think I got the best deal of the day by far. And, uh, you yeah, know, my previous videos, when I first started, I made a comment that most of my watches I buying for between two and five dollars and I had some really negative comments saying that I was a liar uh, made it up there's no way I could find those Omegas and uh, the other kind of watches for five bucks and I was basically making it all up and I'm a I was a liar well so I only bought one thing I was uh, bidder number 122 and today's date the 29th and you actually saw this this flat on the video and they call it watches and paperwork and yes I paid five dollars for this flat and this watch I'm going to show you was on this horrible band a Timex uh, first of all I'll do a real quick uh, wristwatch check and I'm wearing a uh, Seiko uh, chronograph from the 90s but this watch was in this box it's just a beautiful uh, Ernest uh, Borel 
uh, cocktail kaleidoscope watch. And I believe this is from the probably late 50s, early 60s. And is actually running and keeping great time. I uh, first got the auction about 8.30. I saw this in there and I could not believe this was sitting in there. I wound it, set the time, and then about an hour, uh, a little after 9 when the auction started, I checked it and it was uh, keeping great time. So, uh, yeah, this watch was in this box of just pretty much junk. And as you can see the back, it's uh, clear back, kind of like skeletonized. So you can see the movement. And this is uh, gold-plated, like I said, uh, probably from the late 50s, early 60s. I did some research. I've never had one of these particular watches. Uh, these are proper to... Uh, popular to sell on cruise ships. So uh, just a great find for $5 in running condition. I did some research on these and these sell for between two and 300. So just a, a great score and this will go in my personal collection. So this will not be for sale. Uh, I'll keep something like this. And it's nice to find, this is actually a men's watch. So if this would have been a, a woman's watch, I would have sold it. But being a men's, it'll go in my collection. So remember, guys, if you like my videos, remember to subscribe. And uh, if you like that auction-type footage, uh, make, a comment, make a comment that you like it, and I'll do more in the future. Until next time, take care.